Hey everybody, welcome back. Now we have a couple new options from Benchmade regarding pens. Now, we have a couple different materials. We have stainless steel and we have aluminum. The aluminum's coated. Then we have two different sizes. We have a short hand and a long hand. And these short hands are pretty short. I apologize for the sound and the lighting. A little bit different area today, but we're gonna go over and take a quick look at these. We're gonna do a couple quick comparisons, so stay tuned here. So overall, let's take a look at this one. This is the 1120 longhand. Now, it's got a familiar axis style operating system. You can do it with one thumb. It actually actuates on both sides, so if you're left-handed, you can flip that over. No problem. It's got the really cool pocket clip from Benchmade stamped in there. Kind of some really cool knurling here in the middle. Some milling out here by the end for texture and grip. I kind of like that. Now this stainless steel one's definitely heavier. Uh, then you have the aluminum and this is the 1120-1 long hand. It's got the same axis style bolt. Now these, both of these longhand ones come in, we'll take it apart here real quick, but they use the Fisher Space ref Refill. So you can get these refills from Fisher Space Pen Company or from Benchmade. They have the spring on the end, good to go. Now, the stainless steel longhand, the 1120, that is a MSRP of $160. This one right here. The longhand coated aluminum is 130. And on the aluminum, they're using the 6061 T6 aluminum, so pretty neat. And then on the longhand stainless steel, it's the 303 stainless steel. Heavy duty, some good weight to it, as you can hear in comparison. Now, these little shorthand ones. This is the 1121 shorthand made out of the same 303 stainless steel, axis bolt action. So you can get a really good look at it on this one, two-sided. Now on this one, <laughs> and we're gonna cover length and all that in a minute, but this one has the mini refill. So Fisher Space Pen Mini Refill, it's a pretty good option. And I think it's pretty similar to what the um, small ones have. The uh, what's that? The bullet, I think they have. The bullet ones. So we'll compare that in a minute. This is the coated one. So the short hands, this one in the stainless steel is 150 MSRP with a model number of 1121. And this one's 1121-1, it's a coated aluminum. You still have the stamp clip, some good spring to it. And of course, this is really going to be made for something in your pocket, something maybe to put in a, you know, a pack or something like that, because to me, it's pretty small. So I'll probably get one of each and uh, test them out and see what I like. But let's do a quick comparison. So we're gonna use these for example, they show up a lot better. We'll put these off to the side. But one of my favorites, the Tie Scribe Mini from Urban Survival Gear. That's an example of the length difference. So a little bit shorter. But diameter wise, the diameter on these long hands, very, very much bigger. These are almost a half inch. These are 0.45 of an inch diameter, both of the long hands. And the short hands, same diameter on those. So kind of gives you an idea. There's your Pilot G2 comparison between them. So you can kind of get an idea of what you're looking at overall. And then the one that I was talking about, this is what I carry all the time. This is one of the bullet pens. It's so gonna be a good comparison right here. Kind of show you the difference between them. And of course I have the Olight. This is the i5T EOS. We're gonna put that in there as a, oops, as a drop down comparison. But it kind of gives you an idea. And then you can see diameter wise what you're looking at there. But yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about these. Um, this is just a quick uh, first look 
and I want to know some questions down below. I'm going to do a little bit bigger of a video um, kind of going over these, but let's take a look at how these write. You know, Fisher Space Pen Refill, so should be pretty comparable to what you're familiar with, but good quality ink. Let's do this one. These smaller ones are hard to operate for me. So you're gonna get that good ink out of there no matter what. But let me know your questions down below. Let me know which ones you would go with. Let me know if you have a favorite. Let me know if you have any questions about these in general. And I'll put them in the next video. Hope you guys are doing good. Have an awesome rest of your day. Make sure to do something kind for someone. Most importantly, take care.